back with another episode of Ask the Edmonds Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple here with Sergeant Shane Hawley and we are talking about when you're making a left turn and sometimes people will wave you through and say it's safe but you don't believe it. That's probably a good thing to be skeptical of, right? Yes, always. Left turns, always a dangerous time. That's mm -hmm. why there's this specific state law related to huh. making left turns. And I bet you you can tell us what the RCW is. I can. All that right. would be 4661185 for everybody who likes to look these things mm -hmm. up. What really brought this to my attention was the other morning I'm leaving my neighborhood. I have to make a left turn to get out onto a fairly busy street right across from where I exit. There's another street there. And this happens all the time. Drives me absolutely crazy. I'm waiting. Someone comes up and they go, well, go, go. Thinking that it's like a four-way intersection. And just because I got there first, right. that I should have the right of way to go. Yeah. And it doesn't work like that. Um, in fact, that is exactly in contradiction to what the state law says. And that, I'll be honest, that might work as long as they actually let you go. Right. However, if for some reason they decide to go, something happens, you are in violation of the law. You're at fault if you're going to collision in that situation. So um, we actually have a graphic about this. We can put that up. Mm -hmm. um, and so imagine that you're the blue car in this particular graphic and you're going to make a left turn and across the street from you is the green car. And like I said, you've gotten there first, the green car comes up and they're trying to wave you through. My recommendation is you just sit there and shake your head and say, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, even if they start flashing their lights, I got this the other morning. They're, I mean, like, they really want me to go. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, not going to do it. I dug my heels in um, because if something does happen, I would be in the wrong. Okay. The other time we see this, and this is where we see more serious collisions, are often on Highway 99 um, where they is a dedicated two-way turn lane mm -hmm. and you have cars turning into businesses, motels, places like that and you have multiple lanes of traffic coming and we have a graphic for this one too and I only included a couple lanes of traffic but if you go to Highway 99 you actually have three lanes of traffic each direction and when it gets busy as you've been on the highway before it can come to a standstill. Someone is in going to make a left turn from that two-way turn lane into a business and maybe a couple of lanes have stopped but that third lane is still open. And they recognize someone wants to turn and people are trying to be nice, and we understand that, and they'll be like, hey, come on, but they're not looking in their mirror, or maybe they don't catch the fact that there's another car in the outside lane that's coming along, maybe even at highway speed. Mm -hmm. So they might be doing 45, because that lane is wide open. And that's where we see um, T-bone collisions. Oh boy. Yeah and those can be pretty significant. So just because they've stopped, and this is another example of the law and exactly what it says, and it comes down to if you're making a left-hand turn, it is your responsibility to make sure that it is clear and that you yield the right of way to any other vehicles that are coming. Right, so, so if you get in a crash, you can't blame those other people who were waving you through. Correct, because it's your responsibility as the driver to make sure that it was clear and that you turned safely and you didn't turn in front of any other cars. Okay. Good, good advice. Yeah, so very careful on the left turns. All right, thank you very much. No problem. We'll be back soon with another episode of Ask the Edmonds Cop.